Hello, and we are back with another video. Today, we are listening to a song that has come out of absolutely nowhere. Like, honestly, it's been eight months since the last single dropped, and now we've got a brand new song by them. And that band, if you haven't already read the title, is Slipknot. We are listening to the song, The Dying Song, Time to sing. Eight months ago when I listened to the Chapel Town Rag, it kind of like tried to have like the old school Slipknot sound, but for me, it just didn't really hit right. We've got a music video today, which I think is always good. Most of the music videos that they've released with singles, have always worked out to be quite good. Quite clean in the choruses, quite kind of like almost Slipknot, Stone Sour kind of sounding, but you know, the softer kind of like songs off of the albums. I like those kind of songs anyway, so I'm hoping that's what we're gonna get today. I really wanna get excited for this album because like I've been a big fan of Slipknot for a while. The album it's called The End So Far and it comes out September 30th. Just thought I might add that there. Let's get into the video, let's see what it's all about and let's hope for the best. Here we go. Okay, we're starting off very slow, very calm. We got a spinning S in the middle. Like Slipknot can either do like really like over the top thrashy songs or they can do these really like dramatic emotional sounding songs as well and it's always hard to know which one's going to be which okay put your hands into the water let your mouth go sick and dry oh, this is weird put your life into very your weird death now let them see till you die, die. die. okay Okay, this is this is it. This is good. Oh look how he's holding the fucking keyboard. The biggest thing with Slipknot is their percussion. You think about it, they've got like one drummer, then they've got the other percussion drummers like Clown, just kind of on like just the one main drum or sometimes it's a barrel. I think they have two, but I think he left the band. I can't remember his name now, Chris. I think he left the band unless they've replaced him with someone. But they're very percussion driven band. It's like a completely rolling song. That's what we've got straight away from this. We had a soft, calm intro, but then when we actually got into the song, it's become like a Slipknot song. I'm liking it. I love the thrashiness of it. Let's keep going. Okay, nice. There's some lead there. I oh, listen to those drums, man. Okay, here we go. Here comes the chorus. This is good. It's like clean, but it's not very clean. I like that. It's kind of like an anthem song there. You could hear like the others singing in the background. It wasn't too soft. It still had like all the heaviness behind it all. And the way he sings kind of still comes across in like a spooky, chilling way. That was just a good chorus. I liked it. It wasn't the best, it wasn't the worst, but this has definitely got more of like a Slipknot feel for me. I'm sure a lot of people are going to fucking hate it. They're going to be like, I hate this chorus. It's too clean. I want it to go hard. I do like the odd kind of occasional non-stop craziness but for now comparing this to Chapel Town Rag I'm appreciating this and I'm enjoying this one a lot more that's all I've got to say I must admit that his like screams and his shouting they're not like the old days are they right, what are we going to get here all that bass Okay. Good old Jimmy. There we go. Here's the marching side of it again. Oh, that's the new guy. That's um, Tortilla Man, I think. Tortilla Man. That guitar riff, boy. So easy to head down to. I 
feel like it could be like there could be more to it. Look, I know it's singing, I know it's singing, but it's also kind of speaking. He's almost like speaking the words to us, you know what I mean? No, it's just a very weird way of like doing vocals. It's not like the high singing and hitting the high notes or anything like that, which we're not going to expect unless like, on the occasional Slipknot song. It's just very talkative, very speaky. I feel like there could be something more, like one more like level up. Everything else, like the verses and that, I like it. He's been really kind of like screaming and like rough voice and like, kind of stuff like that. I feel like he's holding back. He, he can go harder in the choruses, I feel. See, that's... I like that. Oh. I don't know if it's also because he's quite static in the actual video while everyone else is like dancing around. I can, I can never get behind this symbolism. It's like washing away a mask. Back to the disco slipknot S. Very like ominous, very suspenseful, really kind of showing that there's something more to come there. I feel like the old slipknot have definitely gone now. The new music that they bring out now doesn't quite hit as the old music does. Out of the two singles that we've listened to, this one definitely is better for me. This is slipknot. I want to be angry, I want to be heavy, I want to be like, you know going full volume up and like head banging non-stop. But then even then it didn't really get that for me apart from in the verses. And obviously the verses go really quick, but you know, you saw from the start, like I'm proper going for it. I'm getting into the song in the end. I'm trying to listen to it a little bit more. So I liked it. I like the creepiness of it. They've got a really good way of kind of like using like lead guitars to kind of have this eerie effect to it. Masks all looking good. Music videos looking good. Uh, good. It's like what, they got three new members or three members that aren't the original nine now. Yeah, it's definitely not old Slipknot and it's kind of got me interested in what the album's gonna be. Um, hopefully another single comes out and it's something more I can kind of sink my teeth into. Let me know what you thought about this song down below. I'm gonna kind of give it a couple more listens and kind of get through it a little bit more. I enjoyed the chorus, I enjoyed like the breakdowny bit as well. Breakdowny bit, what, what is this fucking description? Let me know what you thought about this. Thank you very much for watching guys. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video real soon. kind of stuff like that. Um, oh God, that was a terrible uh, example.